Hello Libra, this is going to be a general love reading for mid-September to the end of September 2021 and it's for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs. It is general so it's not going to be for everyone but of course you can check out one of your other signs or one of your person signs or you can book a personal reading and the roles can be reversed because this reading is general. So let's see, Libra, what is the overall energy for you? And we have patience, and it's a number 16, if that means anything to anybody. All right, patience, you know what? I'm not even gonna say anything about that because I feel it's like it's pretty straightforward. And it's also one of those things that it can be really frustrating. It can be really frustrating when we're learning um, patience or when we're having to be patient for something. So let's just get into the reading and see what is going on here. Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Second half of September. For your situation, we have the Page of Swords crossed by the Seven of Cups, Recent Past, the King of Swords, Near Future, the King of Cups. In your energy, we have the Eight of Swords. For them, we have the Queen of Wands. More about you is the Queen of Swords. For them, the Knight of Wands, and the potential outcome here, we have the Seven of Swords. All right, Libra, for you and another person, in some cases, it could be more than one person. We'll see. Um, let me just take a quick look at this. I feel like there's a lot that's going on here. Um, I'm seeing quite a bit of court cards actually, so that's why I'm getting the impression that there's more than one person involved um, in this particular situation, so I feel like it's going to be a little bit complicated. So just take the messages as they make sense for you. Um, I feel like there's somebody is really confused concerning some options. I feel like there is some energy that is being put in. Somebody is trying to figure out what it is that they want to do. They are, I mean, it's like they're interested, right? They're interested in figuring out this confusion and in really um, making sense out of the options that they have. I feel like whatever it is that was going on here, um, there was some determinism in the past. There was action that was being taken, but I kind of feel like maybe whoever that was, kind of, maybe it like this situation has kind of, it feels like it took a step backwards, possibly going from the king to the page. Um, however, we do have the king of cups though um, in the near future. So that is um, love coming in or deep emotions, a progression in any way. And yeah, for you, I feel like you, you might be a little bit in your head about something here that you, you're really trying hard though to kind of get to the bottom of it. You don't want to be in this energy, all right, of either feeling some kind of a fear maybe, or of just overanalyzing something, or just feeling like, like something just doesn't have a solution. For the other person here, Could be dealing with a fire sign for some of you, or there is a fire sign in the mix here. Um, we'll see. I'm actually not, I don't want to say much about them until we clarify this Queen of Wands and the Knight of Wands, but definitely there's some action, there's some confidence here, there's there's some assertion, but there it could be a little bit on the unstable side occasionally. We'll see. Again, we'll see. Um, for the potential outcome, having the Seven of Swords. Could be that somebody's not being completely honest um, here. Well, again, let me just clarify because I have a feeling this is, this is a bit of a complicated one. All right, so clarifying the Page of Swords with the Seven of Cups, we have the Eight of Cups. Potential. 
Ten of Wands and the Four of Wands. So somebody here is confused when it comes to how to move away from a connection, from a particular commitment possibly that just um, feels like it's just this huge responsibility. There's a sense of a huge responsibility here that is, it's like this person is carrying this responsibility but not happy about it, but that sense of responsibility is still there. So there's confusion about this because it's almost like this person is um, emotionally detaching from that. Could be you towards a person here, it could be another person towards someone else. Again, take the messages as they resonate. Um, but somebody here is trying to detach from a situation where they feel like there's a lot of um, commitment as well as responsibility. Um, yeah, they're not happy about it, which th they're not happy about having this responsibility, but the responsibility is still there. That's what makes it so confusing. So let me see. Um, I'm not going to focus on the past. But like I said, I do feel like there was some action that was taken in the past. There was some determinism. Um, I feel like it kind of, there was a, a step taken back, backwards. Um... All right, so clarifying the Eight of Swords for you, we have the Ten of Cups, the Empress, and the Four of Swords. Yeah, it's like you're feeling like, what if you never find this happiness, um, possibly with this person or just in general? Um, that what if you cannot ever have this Ten of Cups, you know, like a family or just a very, like, fulfilling relationship that will be complete? with someone however like i said i feel like you're trying to get to the bottom of why you're feeling this way and i feel like you're actually doing a pretty good job of trying to heal whatever fear or whatever wound is causing you to be in this type of a, of a mentality um, some of you this is going to be very very specific just for a few of you I feel like some of you might be, if you don't have children yet and, you know, you're at an age where you kind of feel like, like time might kind of be running out, um, I feel like this is something else that's also on your mind. Like if you don't have this, well then that would also mean that you might never um, have it, that opportunity possibly. And yeah, like again, I feel like this is also something that you are or trying to work through okay just for a few of you so let me see this queen of swords the page of pentacles the wheel of fortune and the not the six of wands you're doing a really good job of making this shift for yourself. Um, I feel like you might, you know, feel like it, you're having a little bit of a hard time now. I can see why patience is here. I feel like, um, you know, you, you, you're being called to have patience to see how things are going to work out for you. And when it comes to really um, healing your own self here, I see you getting on the right path, really trying to figure out what it is that is going on here within your own self as it pertains to another connection maybe, but not only it's not only for another connection. I feel like it's more general than that um, for your own self. So you're really trying to, to um, make a shift here in your own mentality and the way that you perceive things in order to find that happiness, in order for you to be successful at that. Trying to find your own victory, in other words. So let's see what's going on with this other person that is showing up here. Let me see this Queen of Wands. We have the Page of Pentacles and we have Death. Alright, so this is somebody who is trying to bring about some kind of an ending. 
um, could be the, the person who is trying to walk away. I mean, again, but this may have, may, may even be you, um, in the main situation, um, trying to detach. Could be, though, another person. Um, I feel like this person is actually pretty certain about what it is that they want, about an ending that they want to bring forth, possibly to something else. Maybe, um, like I said, I, I just feel like it's, it's a, um, like it's a commitment in terms of family. It could be work for some people, but I'm mostly getting it that it could be family um, with the Four of Wands being here. But I feel like even like as strong as their desire is, and even if they're feeling confident knowing that this is something that they can actually do, it's it's like they're doing very little in in the um practical sense like when it actually comes to taking physical steps towards that ending I feel like it's kind of moving very slowly or they're just taking like little baby steps towards that so that could be what is so unstable about this even though the confidence is there and um, this person does know what it is that they want but again there's like some confusion about if it's them there's some confusion about these options because like I said, there's that sense of responsibility. So let's see the Knight of Wands. And we have the Ace of Wands. Well, like I said, there's a lot of passion here, but I feel like this person is, um, let me get one more, a little bit on the unstable side, like they need to be in this King's Energy the Hierophant and the Emperor. Yeah, um, I feel like this person is kind of like back and forth between their passion, what it is that they know that they want, and this sense of responsibility here, the Hierophant and the Emperor. Um, whatever this is that they're involved with, that they're trying to end, because that's definitely showing up here, it's something big. It's something very committed. It could be something cultural. It could be, um, like I said, family. So it's kind of like they're like torn between the two. Knowing what it is that they want though, and they are taking steps towards that ending. They are moving towards that ending. It's just happening bit by bit. So let's see the King of Cups though. Because something good seems to be showing up here. The Seven of Wands and the Four of Pentacles. You know what this feels like to me? This feels like somebody is really trying to um, guard and protect this connection in some way. Because the, the emotions are there. Um, Definitely. I mean, I don't know what it is that you, how you're exactly feeling towards this person. I feel like that didn't really come through. We got more about what it is that you're feeling for your own self and about your own life and trying to sh shift your own mentality. I feel like you, you know, you're maybe just trying to break away from this idea of having this future with this person um, because, well, because there's just so much confusion around it. But I feel like it's this person actually really trying to um, guard the connection in some way, trying to protect the connection between the two of you. There could be, I mean, the, the, the love is there. The love is definitely there. The emotions are there. It could also be that this person is, is um, holding back their feelings as well from you. And this could actually be in an effort to protect you or to just not make things worse between the two of you. So let me see the Seven of Swords. <clears throat> we have Strength. Um, and I also have the King of Cups here as well, popping out, so I'm taking that too. All right, so here's the thing with this connection. I feel like for, that's why we have patience now. I see why. And yeah, you know, it's, um, 
I feel like it's a difficult situation at the moment, but what is coming up here for the potential outcome, at least just for the time being, all right? This is not forever and ever. This is just for, what, like two weeks? And time is fluid, and of course, you know, things are going to be slightly different for everybody. Um, I do feel like certain things are happening behind the scenes that you can't see. So I don't feel like and like you're going to have much presenting itself just yet. But you're really being called to be strong. This strength can also be about patience. Alright. Um, and I feel like strength with this um, King of Cups here, which is also showing itself in the near future. Somebody is finding that strength in order to move towards love, to move towards those emotions rather than um, guarding themselves or, you know, kind of holding back from showing that. It's just that this is kind of happening in a, in a way where you cannot see it. It's like in a sneaky kind of a way. It's like happening in the dark when everybody's asleep kind of a thing. So, yeah, that's what's going on here, Libra. So let's see if this resonated for you. Give me one sec. All right, and we have Journey by Moonlight, Believe in Magic. Um, this is exactly what I was just saying, journey by moonlight. It's like it's happening in the dark. It's happening like at night when nobody is watching. That's when things are happening. So you cannot see what it is that is happening here. I feel like you are on the right path. As I said, you're moving towards your own success. You're moving towards your own, um, your own stability here. Um, and th whoever it is that you're dealing with or whatever this is that you want, this 10 of cups, right? That's like working in the background. In the dark and I feel like it's just going to you know one day appear out of the blue here for you all right so believe in magic <laughs> journey by moonlight all right Libra those were your messages thank you so much for watching and much love